she admitted to us for years that she wanted to be his wife in for years <laughs> in polygamy for years um you i know there are many people who have witnessed her interest in raw nephron men and other women's husbands the fact that she was missing this great opportunity in her mind to have a child that was a major theme in her life and the things that we spoke about the fact that she shared her full indulgence of romantic and sexual fantasies about him with me. And and she proposed to him. <laughs> and he said, said no. no. I mean, he said no. So you got emotional because he said no. But you moved on and you have a husband and a baby now. So it begs the question, um, that if a woman nourishes for many years in her mind, in her heart, her desire to be with and marry a man, and that man, what does that man then need to do? He, he does to not pursue. need to pursue her. She's already fully committed to something that she's had in her mind and in her heart. There was no need for him to woo her. And you try, and he said no. So, you know, you, you just thinking about that, and even in addition to, you know, the credibility, you know, like, yep, your, your credibility is in question. You made some incredulous claims that Shechem Shechem, Rana from Men, and Shechem Bakenti psychically attacked your baby psychically attacked their baby. They said this in the videos that they made. <laughs> so, so you know, Sharima Sue has been in the priesthood for many years. And many years. She knows very well that no one in the society is into that. We don't do that kind of stuff. There's yeah. karmic backlash for that kind of stuff. But, yeah. you know. We have we, evidence. Mm-hmm. You want to talk about it? You go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so I... I... Yeah, we have evidence that basically contradicts all those baseless claims about this psychic attack because their behaviors contradict what they're saying. Go ahead, okay, so, so on at least three occasions, Sharima Sue and her husband dropped by my house with their son once on my birthday, which was on February 21st this year. And later on, two other occasions for me to babysit their son. On March 22nd, I have a video. That's why I know the exact date. And also sometime in June. So her husband dropped him off both times to my house because she was at work. So what I want to know is, how could you drop off your son to me to babysit? and claim that my husband was supposedly psychically attacking your child. It just doesn't make sense. I just needed it to make sense. So somebody is psychically attach attacking your child and you drop your children off to his wife. <laughs> so- We also- Yeah, go ahead. It's all right, baby. We also have a text. Um, that her husband sent to Shechem Shechem, where he said, and I quote, Dwa for your counsel on the actions we needed to take for the health of our son. I'm gonna read that again. I'm gonna say that again. Um, because I have that, I had to make sure I got that statement. He texts Shechem Shechem and said, Dwa for your counsel on the actions we needed to take for the health of our son. Okay, Why? Dwa means thank you. Dwa means thank you. Yes, so, I'm sorry. Dwa, dwa means thank you. So he's thanking Shekham Shekham Ram Nefram Men for the actions, counsel on the actions they needed to take care of the health of their son. Um, so, so he gives thanks privately, but then <laughs> publicly tries to defame Shekham Shekham in this video. There has to be some sort of hidden agenda here because 
how do you do that? You text somebody and say thank you, and then in the video you say that they're trying to hurt your child. Right. It uh, makes no sense. Um, oh my gosh, how could we forget? February 20th of this year, February 20, 2022, um, we were at our weekly society group meditation. Her husband um, also testified uh, with Sheree Masu sitting next to him on how his work with a mantra uh, that was taught to him in the society helped him to temper down his own anger, uh, which created a spiritual environment that enabled his baby to fall asleep within 15 minutes, where it could otherwise um, take as much as an hour. Uh, why would you get up there? It is ironic how you shared this testimony with the whole community. community. 300 plus people yet state that Shekhar Shekhar Rana Herman and Shekhar Bakenti, who have done nothing to harm you or your family, are now the ones causing your baby's health issues. Um, you know, I just want everyone to know because it doesn't make sense to us. And I don't want you to think that we're sitting here beating her up or badgering her. We love Shereen Sue, but we cannot sit idly by and condone falsehoods that create this damaging narrative. Um, we were there, we were her friends, we were her sisters, we ritualized with her. Um, and we needed to address these key statements that she omitted, this truthful information that we possess that presented uh, Shechem Shechem, the society, um, you know, Osiris said society in a very inaccurate picture, a very defaming picture, as well as her conduct, as well as her conduct, um, because she made it seem as if she was a victim and she did nothing. And we know that to be totally not the truth. Um, we don't wanna drag this out. Uh, we hit our points. We know we're walking in truth. Uh, we said the things that we needed to say and we appreciate everyone who took the time to listen um, to the truth and the facts uh, that we presented today. It's, we will, we're just gonna come out with our receipts. And until then, peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings.